Song Woogie, bro. <laughs> bro, I, I'm actually, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. Did not even see the other four girls here. I thought it was backup dancers. Dead ass. <laughs> Is this Mion's whistle? God damn. I don't think I've heard that from her ever. Jesus Christ, this woman does things, man. Holy shit. Now I literally don't see anyone but Mini in this shot. It's me, Cruel. Welcome back to another reaction video here on this YouTube channel. And I'm watching Idols. I want that official music video here now. This is their, I believe, title track for the Heat album that just came out uh, with 88 Rising. I think that's what this is <laughs> because this just came out 40 minutes ago. Uh, I'm at 80,000 views and it is pretty much 3 a.m. here. Uh, I don't know why I'm awake and I don't know why I'm even doing this right now at literally 3 a.m. But I am doing it and uh, double checking if my mic is on. It is on. Great. Uh, I have to be a little bit more quiet just because people sleeping and stuff. Um, but I will try my best to give you the reactions that are worthy of this. And I have my Neverbong here with me. I still to this day, I, I, I was, I literally went on an idol concert uh, two and a half, three weeks ago. To this day, I have not yet uh, edited my vlog uh, slash my, my videos I have, my fan cams. Um, yeah, I feel a bit ashamed about that in a way, but I, I really want to do it. Uh, I'm very eager to do it and I just need to start. That's always the, the biggest problem with this stuff because it's so long that it's so much work. But if you want to start, it gets better. Yada, yada, yada. Let's get right into this reaction video. Uh, playlist and a bit common for more iterations. I mean, they're my old group. You know that probably if you're watching me now, react to them. Uh, it's a full English song, so no subtitles, I guess. But yeah, let's get started. Also in the pin comment, there's a link to all of my other adorations plus uh also a link to all of my adorations over on patreon which is a sh shitload of <laughs> so check them out let's go oogie uh, reading a book uh, in french i think it says this is the finale say les fin is that if that's what it said jesus christ so young <sighs> um uh mini has blood on her toes question mark that's a gun again. Again, I'm saying that because there was a video in the concert where she was shooting guns. Oh, 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 I've not seen Jesus, by the way, whatsoever. I don't know what this will sound like, but it sounds different. This is, however, I'm pretty sure not produced or written by any of the members, so. 88 Rising production, essentially. So Soyan wants the SUV. <laughs> ah. Okay, okay, let's go. On stage collecting the medals. Love to see it. This relationship seems to be very abusive. They are they're highlighting either that or they're into that shit here right now. I don't know. Uh, can't tell actually right now yet. It looks abusive more than anything though. Yeah, it's kind of ironic how Soyan looks like the one that's about to kill him, not he killing her. Right? Like, you feel me? <laughs> Soyon being Soyon. Seeing Oogie cry was not on my agenda today. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, it's just in her head. So did she just kill him, I guess? I Mini mean, is the one that actually committed it, huh? Or oh, they all did it together. Oh, let's go, Oogie! Jesus, let's go to you, bro. I, I can't help but squeak a little here, but... Damn, song Woogie, bro. <laughs> she did that. She, she be looking so good. Bro, I, I'm actually, I'm dead ass. I'm dead ass. You will not believe what I'm about to say. Dead ass did not even see the other four girls here. I thought it was backup dancers. Dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> Literally couldn't look at anything but Woogie. That's something. Damn. Just noticed it here when Shua came in. I was like, wait, it's the other girls. So they're like... They were in an abusive relationship and they kind of get rid of him in some way, right? I, I guess that's Mini murdering him or something, but then they actually end up missing him. So they kind of grew to like him despite the abuse. The vibe is... Like the, the melody is so aggressive, no? It's like so forward, like boom, 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 punch, punch, punch. Mini has a very sad character in this so far. Like she looks like she's not 
at all content with what she did. We didn't see much Mion, yeah. Oh my god, the face changed from Soyeon. <laughs> okay. Bro, Oogie in this is something else. I don't know why, but her voice fits so well to this. Tell her, Mion. Oh, so they went through the company. All of them. Maybe some of them pulled the trigger, some didn't. Is this Mion's whistle? God damn! I don't think I've heard that from her ever. I think they all did the same thing, I think. They're just dealing with it differently. Oh, a ring, a marriage ring. Oh, this is a badass shot. Also, Soyeon looking punk as fuck here, yeah, I love it. Like, that is a... If any of you guys know Swervy, the female K-hip-hop rapper, probably most people don't, because she's even kind of unknown, even, I, I want to say. But she looks like Swervy here, like early Swervy. Very punky. <laughs> and they all look punky, but Soyeon's hair is like, damn. And also, Mion looks just so fucking... Um, good. <laughs> and Mini is something... I don't, I don't even know what to say. Like, Mini, bro. Oh my god, Mini. Why does she have that look on her face right now? I, I'm not even a mini. At this point, I'm simping any anyone in this group anyway. But like, ah oh man, I'm not a Mion uh, mini. Oh, I'm not a mini bias. Mion is also sometimes a very big problem. But I'm not a mini bias even. But Jesus Christ, this woman does things, man. Holy shit! Now I literally don't see anyone but mini in this show. Okay, I have my opinions. I have my opinions. I will I will share them gladly with you guys. Idols used drop Idols, I want that. Park Jongmin was the actor, okay. Do we see any credits here? I don't think so. I mean credits for the song writing and producing. But I definitely have heard and seen before that I think there was even a track list that was dropped with the credits, right? So yeah, I think they're not in any of the songs. Not even Soyeon, which is interesting, right? I think that's a weird choice. Like, if you like, sure, 88 Rising probably had a lot of hands in this, but maybe Cube and 88 Rising kind of collab to find new people to do something new. I don't know why they would do that. I would just do a collab between something new and the original writers and, and producers, which is often Soyeon. Why not at least incorporate her? That's one thing I don't agree with in this. And I've not heard the album, but I don't agree with in the choice of doing that. Because, hey, maybe it goes right, sure, right? But if it's like if you collab with that person that has a success story already and it works for them, right, with Soyeon producing, why not just make it easy on yourself and just be like, okay, if we use these elements that Soyeon is using in production or in, in, in writing, I guess writing is a bit harder because it's full English maybe, but sure, what she uses in production then, right? If we use that a little bit, then we have some common things in the sounds in the instrumental that people already know from Idol, right? And then the people that already know Idol will more likely enjoy the songs, I think. And then the people that don't know Idol still have something new as well. So like you get the best of both worlds anyway. It's like experimental, but still has some security to it. Whereas this is just full on like, you know, it can go right, it can go wrong. And now my honest opinion about the song is it's not as memorable for sure, but it's not as memorable as a usual Idol song. Like, I think that's very obvious to anyone watching and listening. Um, I'm literally my old group, by the way, so I have a very, very fond feeling of them, but it's not um, what I would think of when I think of Idol. Sure, so now that's a thing, very clearly. So Now then, secondly, again, this can also be a good thing, because maybe this is something refreshing, new, that actually will open another new door for Idol, right? Because they're kind of, in a way, even in their own career, their own... Um, trajectory with especially Soyeon now doing most of the production in the last few years, they're already known for being innovative and just doing different things every single time almost. Now doing something completely different again might not be too different than I guess for them, right? If they keep doing different things anyway. But I don't know. I have a feeling that this instrumental in particular is like very, what is it, house? I think it's very house, the, the, the genre that they used here like as influence. Um, the electronic genre house. I mean. If there's any other that call house, I don't know. But it's very like that. And the beat, the, the, the bass as well, as especially that they're using, like for example, in the outro here. Uh, like this. 
You know, this melody, like... That's very... Uh, I want to even say techno-ish, I guess, actually. And that's an interesting choice. Uh, I think the, the music video is badass. I think the concept is cool. I think seeing them in a different, completely different sound and, and like, again, the song being a thing together with the music video creates a really cool experience for me as an idol fan already because I see them in a different setting that I will likely never see them ever again in or um, just has, have never seen them in, to anything close to this. Um, so it's just interesting to watch. It, it, it creates a new, like, oh, Oogie in this kind of song sounds kind of cool or, oh, Soyeon doing this kind of style of rapping is kind of cool. Like, those kind of things are interesting. However, will I listen to the song more than I will listen to some idol songs? Not sure. Probably not. That's my first guess. But you never know. Maybe it grows on me, right? There's songs like Maybe, uh, the idol song from the Oh My God, I Trust album, which are also a little bit EDM heavy, honestly, like actually very EDM heavy, and maybe have hints of this kind of song. And that song also grew on me a lot more than I thought it would. So hey, maybe it will. But first impression basis is it's just not as catchy. It is literally just a fun song that I'm, it's kind of like a uni, like universe doing a song for someone, right? Or like a project song or maybe like an advertisement song. That's kind of what it is to me right now. I do very much support this. I do very much hope it gets big um, and I will do my part in streaming it a little bit. But I, I very much hope it gets them traction to, to all kinds of new areas and new people. That's just the whole point of this whole collab, right? So I, I hope there's a benefit there that, that they actually get from it. But I do think that, personally speaking, it's not necessarily my favorite idol song and I don't think it will be. Um, but it still was a fun experience and I very much simped over the girls here because holy macaroni, they look fantastic. I mean... Literally that as I did not notice in the first covers that Ugi was dancing with the other four girls. I literally saw only Ugi and thought it was backup dancers. Because she was so oppressively stunning here. And, and, and did so well with that part. So clean. Oh. Let's go, Susan. <laughs> but I do want to say that, again, I guess maybe what this proves is that Idol can do all kinds of concepts pretty well. Um, but however, that, that also this kind of EDM techno house-ish song just doesn't suit them, I think. I think that's pretty pretty good takeaway here. And I will leave it at that because uh, it's getting actually really long already. Didn't expect that to be 40 minutes long already, but... Yeah, uh, just thought I wanted to do a quick reaction video. Now it's become a bit longer. By the way, that's it for me. Thanks so much, so much guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed um, the, the listen along, the watch along with me, the reaction, essentially. And uh, let me know what you think about my opinion, what your opinion is. And uh, I'm very early with this because it literally came out now, exactly now ago. Um, if I'm feeling myself, I will post it now. I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it might be early, which is good for the algorithm and everything like that. So I might get a lot of new people here on my channel. If you're still watching it right now, the video, I appreciate that because a lot of people turn off after I finish the music video. Makes sense. But I just want to say that I'm a big idol old, like a Neverland, right? Been to, I've seen them live at concerts now four times, uh, roughly, I guess. I don't know if that counts. It's actually kind of three times, but on two occasions, which is two weeks ago, as well as last year at Kboplex, I watched them two days in a row. So essentially five times, but actually really just on three different occasions. However, I am a big, big, big fan and I have proven that many, many times. If you don't believe me based on this reaction, then you can check out my others. And maybe you just thought that I am a hater or something because I didn't laugh, laugh, laugh this song. I'm not. <laughs> but anyway, peace.